This is an easy to moderate difficulty question. I'll classify this one as a 650 to 700 GMAT problem solving question from arithmetic progression. The sum of the fourth and twelfth term of an arithmetic progression is 20. You be given the sum of the fourth term, let's say A4 and the twelfth term A12. What we need to find out is the sum of the first 15 terms. Let's quickly write down the formula. We're going to be solving this question taking two approaches. The first approach is a textbook approach. Textbook approach, let's write the textbook formula to compute the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. So in the first n terms of an arithmetic progression is given by this formula n by 2 times 2a1 plus n minus 1 times d. What is a1? a1 is the first term, n is the number of terms in the sequence and d is the common difference. From the information that we have till now, all that we know is we are finding out the sum of the first 15 terms. So we know n equals 15. We do not have data about the first term, neither do we have information about the common difference. So let's just plug in till that point and get this entire expression into something which is little more derived from the regular formula, right? The formula is n by 2, so you're going to plug in the value for n equals 15. So some of the first 15 terms will work out to 15 by 2 plus 2a1 plus 15 minus 1 is a 14d. So if we have the value for 2a1 plus 14d, we have the answer to our question. What information do we have? The question gives us information about the sum of the 4th and the 15th term. So any arithmetic progression, the nth term is given by the formula a1 plus n minus 1 into d. a1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, d is the common difference. We will express both a4 and a12 using this formula in terms of the first term a1 and the common difference d. So a4 will be equal to a1 plus n minus 1 which is 4 minus 1 times d. So this is a1 plus 3d. That's a value of a4. Let's run through the same exercise for a12. a12 will be equal to the first term a1 plus 12 minus 1 times d which is a1 plus 11d. The sum of the fourth and the twelfth term is a 20. So we're going to be adding these two. So let's add these two parts. So we'll get 2 times a1 3d plus 11d is a 14d. The sum of these two equals a 20 is what we got. Recall where we left the summation formula. Yes, 15 in the last slide. We left it at a 15 by 2 times 2a1 plus 14d is where we left it. And said that if we can find the value of 2a1 plus 14d, we have the answer to the question. We have computed the value of 2a1 plus 14d here, which equals a 20. So summation of this first 15 terms is 15 by 2 times 20 cancels as a 10. So 150 is the answer. Quickly summarize the first method, textbook approach, and then move on to the second one. Compute the value of a4 in terms of a1 and d. Compute the value of a12 in terms of a1 and d. We know that the sum of the fourth and the twelfth term is a 20. We're writing this as an a1 plus 3d. a12 was a a1 plus 11d, and we got it as 2a1 plus 14d equals a 20. The summation formula is essentially 15 by 2 into 2a1 plus 14d, which is equal to 20. So plug in the 20. Get the sum of the first 15 terms to be a 150. Choice C is the correct answer. Let's look at the alternative approach. The alternative approach works this way. Sum of an arithmetic progression is the number of terms into the middle term. Why does it work? For an arithmetic progression, the middle term is the average. For any set of numbers, not just the ones in arithmetic progression, the sum is number of terms into average. For an AP, the average happens to be the middle term. So if we can compute the value of the middle term, we know the number of terms is 15 because we are computing the sum of the first 15 terms. So if we can find the middle term, the value of the middle term, we have the answer. For the first 15 terms, the middle term is the 8th term. So if we can find the value of A8, we have the answer. Let's check out what A8 will be in terms of the first and first term and the common difference. A8 will be equal to A1 plus N minus 1, which in this case is 8 minus 1 times D. So this is equal to A1 plus 7D. So I know a1 and d or I know a1 plus 7d, I know the value of a8. Let's find out a8 one way or the other. How are we going to go about it? We still don't have any other option but to use this information. We'll just run through this process as we did in the last method. So a1 plus 3d is a4. a1 plus 11d equals a12. Sum of these two equals 2a1 plus 14d which we know equals a 20. We need the value of a1 plus 7d. We actually have the value for 2a1 plus 14d. So divide this entire equation by a 2. 2a1 plus 14d divided by 2 will leave us with an a1 plus 7d. 20 by 2 will leave us with a 10. So a1 plus 7d is the value of a8 which you compute it to be equal to a 10. So plug in the value of a8 to be a 10 in this. So sum of this entire progression is 15 times 10 which is equal to 150. The same answer we got with the textbook approach. Quickly run through this in a printed form. Computing the value of a8 as a1 plus 7d. 
a4 expressed in terms of a1 and d a12 expressed in terms of a1 and d a4 plus a12 therefore will be equal to 2a1 plus 14d we are dividing this equation by 2 on both sides a1 plus 7d which is a8 therefore is equal to a4 plus a12 by 2 a4 plus a12 the summation is 20 so a8 is 20 by 2 which is equal to 10 if a8 is a 10 sum of this 15 terms is equal to 15 times 10 which is equal to 150 before you leave do three things one sign up as a trial user for gmat online course visa course gmat online course at wzkwo.in slash core get started with statistics and average get momentum to your gmat preparation pay and convert it into a paid user to get access to the remaining topics Two other things that you can do. One, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash Vizaco and turn on notification. Lastly, there is one other thing that you can do. You can join as a member of this channel, which is different from subscribing to this channel. There's a small monthly fee to pay to join as a member. You get some member-only perks, which are not available for all subscribers. Click on the join button. Even before you pay, you'll get a listing of the member-only perks. Those member-only perks will help give a boost to your GMAT preparation. Best wishes.